I would like to really know and hear from you, why is ICWA important? First of all, I'm very grateful that DCYF gave the tribes this opportunity to help reshape their ICWA policies. The partnership displayed by DCYF through this has been fantastic. And their willingness to <clears throat> consider, then even reconsider things that we might just still disagree on, I thought that was great. I understand that there's still going to be some things that they might do that we still don't agree with. But, you know, they listened. They listened. They, it feels like they're doing as much as they're comfortable with or as much as they're allowed to do. So why is ICWA important? ICWA, I think it's all in the history. ICWA is a response to decades of um, harm that was done by the state, even though sometimes it was private actors. It wasn't necessarily the government, but it was private actors going through the courts and the courts were complicit in the harm that was being done to our communities. I wasn't done to my family necessarily, but my wife's family, they suffered because CPS just showed up one day when the parents were out working and said, oh, you can't have a 13-year-old in charge of all these kids. We're taking all these kids. And they did. And they put them all into care. Wow. And we were talking to probably the late 60s. Some of those family members come back home or try to come back and make contact. Some of them don't. And so... You have siblings who have lost their siblings, parents who lost their children. And I don't know how you live through that harm. For those parents out there, think about that. You come home and your children are gone and you literally never see them again. That's awful. Yeah. I can't even imagine how you would live through that. Yeah. And so, you know, how to, that's the harm that was being done. People went to the state, they went to the federal government, said, we got to find a way to stop this from happening. And that's where WICWA and ICWA were born. And I'm pretty proud of the state that the, the state was do, trying to do something about it before the federal government did. Doesn't mean that it was perfect. Doesn't mean it's perfect now. But everyone's trying to do the best that they can. The challenge is in the resources, right? Everybody wants to do more. But it's what can you do? That's the challenge. We get that. I find myself reminding Secretary Hunter once in a while, but you have a legal obligation to do it. I say, but we don't have the people. I'm like, yeah, either do I, but you still have a legal obligation to do it. And one of those really important things is active efforts. We see at Lummi where we're putting in the extra efforts fewer and fewer kids that are in care. And before I got here, actually in the first month I had this job, we had a situation where our CPS investigator, for a variety of reasons, couldn't be there when one of the DCYF or then it was DSHS employees went out all by themselves on a call and found a child or children look like they were home alone. Actually, they were in the care of the uncle who lived right next door and they wandered away and went back to their own house when the CPS worker happened to show up at that same time and didn't know let's just ask next door that's the uncle and so they said man we got these younger kids here we better pick them up and take them with us and that's what they did those kids I think they're placed with aunties and uncles or grandparents now I think but so some of that harm's still happening, and or at least it was. We've seen through the last five years at least a market effort in our local offices of people really trying hard to not have kids come into care. Not just trying one thing or two things, but trying to do everything or even redoing some efforts to try to keep kids out of care. And that's helping a lot. The number of Lummi children in care has dropped by literally half in the last six years. And that's not because we're 
closing cases and getting them out the door. It's because we're making the extra effort to want one help the parent. We can't help the parents than finding family members to take the children. And the example I used earlier, instead of taking the kids in care, we could have went straight to the grandparent and said, these parents, they're not doing it. For whatever the reason is, they're not. These kids need someone else to take care of. Let the grandparent go get a court order giving them custody. And we skip past the kids having to be in the custody of the state or the nation and just go let the family handle it. And they handle it formally. We would require them to handle it formally, but it's done. And the grandparents have custody and those children are taken care of. So it would have had the exact same ending, but cutting out the government stepping in. And I think that's the best case scenario is when you know the government identifies there's a problem and the problem has to be solved. We can't just walk away and let it stay like this. And no one's saying that, but try to find an answer different than the government stepping in and then the government having to parent these children until the parents can figure it, or you figure out, okay, the parents aren't doing it. Now let's have the grandparents do it. And so I think that's key. That's why Lummi's numbers are going down. We're keeping kids out of care and letting, helping the families be able to step up and because they'll do it. It's not always, but often. Most times the families will step up and help. It's done my heart good to see times when there's five and six aunties and uncles here at our office all talking about who's going to take the kids, how we're going to work this out, because we can't have the kids go into care. That we, No one wants that. I don't. I know DCF doesn't want that. We don't want that. We just have to find a way to help the families. And we're seeing that kind of a difference being made in the current efforts. <clears throat> and I think the new policies reflect that. And the policies help lead the social workers more in that direction. You know, I, there's still things that Lummi wishes were in there that aren't, but it's a lot better than it was. So we appreciate that.